Hey, good morning guys. Welcome to JT Raised Outdoors. Jay and I are getting ready to do chores today. Um, it is cold and nasty. Jay, say hi. Hey. <laughs> so, uh, we're getting started. Hope you'll stick with us. So, with the ice that we've had, um, we're actually having a hard time even getting in the gates. So, it doesn't look like much, but it rained and froze last night, so it's not like we have a lot of snow, but it is just kind of nasty. You get these new baby calves that are not familiar with your pickup, so you kind of got to be careful so you don't run over any of them. I got two new ones in here as of yesterday, but we were kind of busy yesterday. We were doing some farming and didn't have time to tag them, so we'll wait till a, a better day before we tag them and disrupt them a little bit. Maybe the sun on our back will help tomorrow. Sun's supposed to shine tomorrow. Get up to 38 or 40 degrees. So. Of course, the dogs have joined us. They go just about everywhere Jay goes. We'll get a count on these, make sure we don't have one Kevin somewhere. And three. Got a new baby. That's 405. I know her. She's a good calf. She had a calf yesterday. They're over here with their babies. Had a few new calves. Last night, early this morning, I got one laying over here right now. He's probably just 30 minutes old. And we'll try to get a tag in his ear. But uh, I'm going to unroll some hay for him so they'll have a warm place to lay on. Anyway, we use our truck to unroll them. A lot of times you can use tractor or whatever. But uh, we're going to use the truck to unroll this one. I can just drop it down on the ground. And these spinners right here, they turn and allows it to come off, so I'll cut the string off of it and unroll it. net wrap is froze on this one had the ice on it so I'm gonna leave it on there and unroll it and after they clean it up I'll come back and pick that net wrap up
when you unroll these bales, they unroll um, better in one direction than they do the other. So this one I picked up backwards. Uh, but how I usually tell is uh, on that net wrap. I don't know if you can see it or not. But on this side, there will be um, a wider green spot that's come out with John Deere Baylor's, a John Deere net wrap. And this side here, solid green for like a foot and a half. Basically, if you put this wide green strip on your driver's side, it'll be in the right direction to unroll it real good. But you get down to these little pieces that's left over and uh, most of the time I like to dump them in these hay feeders that are empty because if you leave that in the pasture in a, in a bale like that sometimes it'll leave you a dead spot where the cows tromp it around so I'm going to dump it in this hay feeder up a little bit today uh, we had ice a couple days ago and it's getting ready to melt off now it's getting right at 30 degrees so another hour or two it'll be warmed up where all this ice will be off which is good but uh we had like nine tenths of rain and then it started icing so i'm unrolling this hay so they have a dry place to lay on and i'll do that in a couple spots so on this one, I'll turn it around and see if it unrolls a little better than that other one. that one unrolled quite a bit better but uh, we've had several new calves here lately they're looking for a dry place to lay down and what happens is these calves get to where they'll lay around the hay piles well cows will step on them while they're standing around the hay feeders so I kind of like to unroll them some hay and gives them spread out you know and lets the cows eat hay and calves lay on it. it with them being spread out it lessens the chance of them getting stepped on uh, by a cow 